In this video, I'll walk through how you can customize the behavior of Vision tooltips, such as removing the default filtering, and then adding a dynamic reference line that updates as the user hovers over different data points in the source visualization. Here's an example from a previous video where I used a line chart in a Vision tooltip with a dynamic reference line to help the user in understanding the underlying horizon chart, as this is a less familiar chart type. We'll walk through a simple example in this video using the Superstore data set that comes with Tableau. So you can easily follow along if you wish, and I'll link to the completed visualization in the description below. Okay, so we need two visualizations for this to work. We need a source visualization and a Vision tooltip visualization. So this is the first one, so the source visualization is just showing the sum of sales by month. And then the Vision tooltip, which is showing the sum of profit by month. This time as a bar chart. And I'm just coloring the bars using this simple calculation, which is a sine function. And this will return a one if the sum of profit is positive, a minus one if it's negative, or a zero if it's zero. So those three values are then encoded in the color. So there's actually no profits that are exactly zero. So we just have the two values, the minus one and the one, and you can see in the top right. The first thing we're gonna do is add in the vision tooltip using the default settings. And we'll just have a look at how that works. So we go to edit the tooltip. I'll just come down to this clear space at the end, go to insert sheets, and then we can select the vision tooltip sheet. And this will list out any sheets that you have available to insert here. And that inserts some code into the tooltip, which will determine how the vision tooltip functions and its visual properties such as the width and height. So we click OK, and you can see as we hover over different points in the source visualization, the vision tool to be shown with a different month of data. This does make sense. However, in some cases you may want to show all of the data or just change that functionality somewhat. And that's what we're going to do in this case. So in this example, we want to see all of the profit data to give the full context of the profit. And then we also want to add in a reference line. So to do that, go back to the vision tooltip settings, and I'm just going to remove where it says all fields. So that will remove any filtering from the vision tooltip. Click OK. And now you can see when we hover over the points, it's showing all of the data for the vision tooltip. So now that we're showing all the months, it's starting to look a little bit cramped. So we can actually expand that, go back to the tooltip, and we'll just change the width to be 450. Okay, that looks a bit better. The next step is to add in the dynamic reference line. So head back to the vision tooltip sheet, right click on the axis and add reference line. And I want the reference line to be driven by a parameter. So we can actually create the parameter in this dialog box. So create new parameter. And I'll just give this a name and I'll change the display format because the dates that are in the view are at the monthly level. So we don't need the day all the time. So quick tip here, if you want to have a custom format, you click on custom, just gives you an empty box, but you can actually copy over the format from one of the presets. So if I click on March, 2001, and then go back to custom, see so it copies that format in there and you can just adjust that. So I'm just removing one of the M's. So I get the three letter month instead of the full month. Okay. So that's showing the month and year there. Click OK. Okay, I'll just change the format of the reference line so it really stands out. Make it a red dashed line. Okay, click OK. So you can see the reference line on the right hand side. I just want to edit the value that shows up next to it and also the placement of that. So just right click and edit. So the label at the moment is computation. We want to change that to be the value. Click OK. And then to format where that's positioned, right click and format in the top left. Change the alignment to top. I'll just change the font to be red as well, just so it matches the reference line and really stands out, just so it's easier to see in this example. Okay, now if we go back to the source visualization, we'll see the reference line on there, but it's not updating, it's not moving. So we need to update the value as we move across the visualization. And the way to do that is using a parameter action. Okay, so to add that in, go up to worksheet, actions, add an action and change parameter. I give this a name. And the source sheet is the source visualization and the target parameter is the parameter we just created and the field is the month. And we want this to work by hovering. So when the user just hovers over the marks, the reference line value will update. Click OK. Okay, now you see as we move across the different marks in the view, the reference line value is updating and that's moving the reference line across the vision tooltip. So this was just one example of the types of customizations you can do with tooltips. There's so many ways you can customize tooltips. If you really want to dive deep into all the different settings and options, I definitely recommend this video by Tim, which I'll link to on the screen here. Okay, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.